EarthCam is a NASA educational program in which middle school and college students don't just hear about a mission in space, they participate in it by controlling a camera to photograph targets on Earth. The investigation is the brainchild of former astronaut Sally Ride, and the payload developer, Brian Awe, is here this morning to talk about the project. Good How morning. did you get involved with, with EarthCam, Brian? Um, I was working at an engineering firm, and uh, one of my supervisors approached me, uh, realizing that I had a background in camera and, and uh, digital photography, uh, and asked if I would take over the project as a payload developer. Uh, it was after a 24-year career in the Air Force, and, and they fortunately provided me with the school and the, the engineering skills uh, necessary to, to take over as the, the payload developer for EarthCam. So it's, it's been a nice 11 years. It's, You've it's been, been at it for that long. Yes. Now, we have a lot of ways to take pictures of Earth from the space station and from other things that are in orbit. What is it about the EarthCam that makes this so unique? This is, is a payload by students for students. Uh, the, the neatest thing about this is the students literally have direct control over the camera on board the ISS. Uh, it's not a, a the, the images are not a, um, a result of somebody else's research. These are images that the students have actually targeted via web page tools that uh, UCSD provides and they get these images down on the ground and then tear them apart and study them. So it, it's a really neat process, you know, by students, for students. Okay. UCSD is University of California at San, San Diego. Diego. Yes. Uh, they're, that's, this is where that experiment, this experiment comes from. Take us through it. How do these students, as you said, do this study and tear it down? Just how, how let's start with how those students are chosen to participate. Um, it's, they're really not chosen. It's a teacher's election to utilize the, the EarthCam program as, a, as an aid to uh, classroom studies. We provide an opportunity by having the camera on board and available to the students for the week-long sessions. Uh, we typically do this four times during the year. And when the teacher elects to use EarthCam to enhance the classroom activities, uh, some teachers actually have a competition to select the students. Others form the students into teams and have them uh, work towards satisfying a research goal. Uh, they, they give them a project that they have to go search out images that, that they're able to capture during the mission and then use those images to back up uh, a thesis statement, if, if you may, yeah. to c complete the project. So it's, uh, it's completely dependent upon the teacher. Uh, we here at Johnson and at uh, UCSD, California, San Diego, provide the opportunity for the teachers to do this. There must, once the students are selected, there is background work that they have to do to decide yes. what they want to shoot, if you will. That's correct, yeah. Um, based on the project that they're assigned, um, the students can go to the web pages that, that we um, provide via the EarthCam webpage and determine where the ISS is going to be flying overhead and search for targets that will satisfy their research requir requirement. Uh, when they do that, they then submit an image request uh, to the University of California San Diego in the, the MOC, the Mission Operations Center that they staff there. Uh, we resolve the... And the that's staffed by college students. Correct, right. undergrad mm -hmm. students at, at the, the university. Uh, they resolve any issues and with, within uh, literally all of the schools participating around the world, uh, and then they create what we call a camera control file. That file then comes to us here at Johnson Space Center. Via assets we have, we uplink that to a uh, laptop that is controlling the camera, and it, it is a queue of times uh, that tells the camera to take a picture as the space station passes over that point on the Earth. Uh, all of that uh, work is accomplished at uh, UCSD, and in return, the software that's operating on that laptop that, quote, makes EarthCam will pull that image from the camera, puts it in the folder, we downlink that, it gets post-processed a bit out at uh, JPL. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got an individual out there who handles uh, the imagery. We contrast, enhance it. Uh, and then we post it to the website so the students can get access to their picture and then it's open to the general public also. 
the students, the middle school students, are the ones who come up with the time that gets sent to the camera to say when to take the picture. They have to do a lawful lot of different kinds of study to know what's the right time. Yes, they do. Um, it starts off with a basic understanding of, of the globe, latitude, longitude, uh, and then they have to reduce the project that the teacher has assigned them into to latitude, longitudes of potential targets. Then they go investigate where the space station is flying, see if they can't uh, image or target uh, specific shots along the orbit track of the ISS. Uh, and then they, they have to understand a little bit about trigonometry uh, and, and geography uh, in order to pull the whole package together. So yeah, it's, it's a, a driver for showing real-time involvement into many different disciplines of science and, and math. It, it's one thing to do a lot of study ahead of time to be able to predict the right time where the station is going to be. After they send in that request, how real-time are the operations? Do things change on them? Oh yes, oh yes. Um, we're in a real world. Uh, we, we have a Camry that's operating on batteries. Um, occasionally, toward the end of a battery, or if it's, it's been used a lot, uh, unfortunately, we may miss a shot or two because the battery's gone dead and the crew hasn't had the chance to uh, change the battery out yet. Uh, later this week, we also have a Russian uh, thruster firing test. Uh, as a part of that, we have to protect the window that we're looking out of. The lab window is a very high quality scientific instrument if literally it's just a, a flat lens system. So in order to protect it from getting uh, obscured by the propellants, we have to close the window shutter. So again, we have to no black pictures. out no pictures during that time, correct. So yeah, we play in the real world uh, in, in making this payload work for the students. The, the pictures, you said, they're, they come down, they're processed, and then they're made available on the Internet for everyone. Correct, yes. Mm -hmm. Since it's a, a, a when, Pally, when uh, Sally thought this payload up, uh, she did a, a tremendous job in, in making sure that the resource wasn't just confined to a small group. It's, it's available to the general public. Uh, and even several researchers actually use EarthCam images as context photos for uh, more in-depth knowledge in, in their actual research. How many students have been involved in this for more than 11 years? Oh, over 11 years, uh, we're over 190,000 students. Uh, we, we started keeping track of this uh, as time went on, and some of the earlier missions we had uh, basically two or 300. Uh, now we're averaging over three to 4,000 per week-long mission. So it's grown quite a bit. Uh, we still have th the capability to handle more students. Uh, the resources on board are not stretched uh, so that you know, we, we can accommodate taking more pictures. But so you said you're doing it four times a year for a week at a time. A, year, a week at a time, yes. That leaves a lot more weeks. Well, we also have undergrad students out at the university that have to concentrate on their classes mm -hmm. also. They volunteer for scholarship money when they work at the, the EarthCamp Mission Operations Center. Uh, so it's not a direct payment, but they can offset their tuition costs somewhat by, by working the, the mission. For the middle school students, we're not these students who have participated are from schools all over the world, right? Yes. Uh, we've had over 43 countries involved with EarthCamp. Uh, several of them have operated for multiple times. Uh, I think the total, by the time you add them up, we're well over 240-some countries that have participated either once or multiple times, yes. How do you gauge the success? Is it, it's not just that the picture's in focus, is it? Um, that's, that's my job. <laughs> yeah, I make sure that all the technical aspects are taken care of. Uh, it's really nice. I've gone to a few of the schools around here in the area uh, after a mission, actually during a mission, I was able to sneak out for a few hours. And when you see the students sitting down engaged in a mission, it's like sitting here in mission control. They are into their task at hand, making sure that that image that they're about to request is a valid one, uh, and it's going to provide them a return uh, so that they, they can benefit through their studies. Yeah, it's, it's neat to see the kids just engaged. And when they do get a picture back, they're very proud of it. They can tell you what each pixel in that picture <laughs> means and what it's representing. So yes, it's the, the ownership of the image is, is probably the, the incalculable benefit from it all. The students can actually say, I took that picture. 
It wasn't a, a, the result of somebody else's research. It was their target, uh, their image that they targeted. This is what Sally Wright had in mind. Yes, yes. She wanted to engage the students, and she wanted to make it available for almost anybody. All you have to do is have Internet access. Uh, we've got schools that are participating. We call them education groups. Uh, we've got schools. We have scouting groups. We have homeschool children that actually participate. Uh, so the outreach uh, for using EarthCam uh, is, is growing. And, and we see nothing but getting bigger and better as, as time goes on. And as you said, anybody can look at the pictures. What's the, the, uh, the Internet address? There's a, the Internet address is www.earthcam.ucsd.edu. It's an education mm -hmm. website. Okay. Now that's on the screen there yes. for everyone to see. Brian, thanks very much. Enjoy it. Thank you very much. Brian Awe is the uh, payload developer for the EarthCam investigation, which is currently active on board the International Space Station.